Hi and welcome to ATC Keep Educating Yourself series. This lecture is about aircraft communication, addressing and reporting system. Have you ever thought how pilot and air traffic controllers must be talking to each other? Our mobile phones have no network in air, but still pilot chit chat with ATC and safely take us to our destination. Communication between pilot and air traffic controller is very important. Communication between the aircraft and air traffic controllers are performed by the flight crew using voice communication, using VHF voice radio. Ground-based antennas just like mobile towers are used for reception and transmission of VHF communication. Quite interesting. What if pilot is far away from airport at very high level or flying over high seas? Here the problem is solved using HF operator. HF operator receives messages on HF frequency which has wider range than VHF frequency. Sounds good. But the problem with HF communication is distortion, again its range is limited. One big issue is ATC cannot apply real-time separation. Why? Pilot will communicate to HF operator for any request, this operator will pass this message in writing to ATC. ATC will read this written message and as per traffic situation will accept or reject the request of pilot and send it to HF operator. HF operator will transmit this message to pilot in air. It's a time consuming process, so over high seas more separation is required between two aircraft. What will happen if pilot will be out of range just like we observe out of network area message in our mobile phones? Pilot has to wait until it comes in range, so for 30 odd minutes no communication with ground air traffic service units. To solve this issue in 1978 ACARS was developed. Aircraft Communications Addressing and Reporting System is a digital data link system for transmission of short messages between aircraft and ground stations via airband radio or satellite. System Description and Functions ACARS as a term refers to the complete air and ground system, consisting of equipment on board, equipment on the ground, and a service provider. ACARS equipment on board an aircraft is called the management unit MU or, in the case of newer versions with more functionality, the communications management unit CMU. Communications management unit functions as a router for all data transmitted or received externally and in more advanced systems internally too. The ACARS communications management unit may be able to automatically select the most efficient air ground transmission method if a choice is available. A flight deck printer will be provided and a cabin crew terminal may also be available. Flight crew access to the ACARS system is usually via a control display unit CDU which displays information on board. Flight management computer or FMC is connected with EICAS computer. EICAS engine indicating and crew alerting system is electronic system in modern airliners that monitor various aircraft systems including hydraulics, electrics, few and alert the pilots when a problem is detected. The service provider. A data link service provider is responsible for the movement of messages via radio link, usually to from its own ground routing system. ACARS messages are transmitted using one of three possible data link methods. VHF or VHF data link which is line of sight limited. SATCOM which is not available in polar regions. HF or HF data link which has been added especially for polar region communications. The main primary data link service providers are RINC and CETA. The ground processing system. Ground system provision is the responsibility of either a participating air navigation service provider or an aircraft operator. ACARS modes of operations. Demand mode. Either the ground or airborne system to initiate communication. Airborne system will initiate whenever a predefined event happens or when pilot command is entered. Ground station determines if message is error free, routes it to destination and issues, acknowledge. 
If error is found, acknowledge message is not issued and aircraft makes up to six attempts and then alert the crew. In uplink message however, neg acknowledge message is issued. Pull mode. Allows only ground processor to initiate. Ground system continuously pull messages and analyses aircraft replies. Message content. ACAR's messages may be of three types based upon the content. Air Traffic Control ATC Aeronautical Operational Control AOC Airline Administrative Control AAC ATC messages include aircraft requests for clearances and ATC issue of clearances and instructions to aircraft. They are often used to deliver pre-departure, data link at us and en route oceanic clearances. AOC and AAC messages are used for communications between an aircraft and its base. Any message content is possible including such examples as Upload to the aircraft of final load and trim sheets Download from the aircraft of status position estimated time of arrival and any diversion Download of technical performance data including automatically triggered exceedance or abnormal aircraft system status information and Free text messaging is also possible. ACAR's messages examples. First message is an example in which the aircraft registration number GDBCC call sign for this flight is BA088J. The aircraft is reporting a fault. Second message is a position report from United Airlines Flight UA985. Third message is a estimated time of arrival report. Fourth message is a gate assignment request. ACARS is a digital data link system for the transmission of messages between aircraft and ground stations which has been in use since 1978. Modern ACARS equipment now includes the facility for automatic as well as manual initiation of messaging. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time till then take care of yourself. Ciao.